Oh, it's time to get out. to go to driving what's wrong oh Kim it's just taken us nearly three hours to get round a load of roadworks and to get onto the right right road oh it's absolutely been a nightmare absolute nightmare as uh, it's just the roadworks you know they blocked the road off that we wanted to go down there was no diversion it was just we was just going back and forth, back and forth, down the same bit, trying to find a diversion of where to go. So we're finally back our journey. We've got... We've been on the road since half ten this morning, haven't we? Yeah. It's an absolute nightmare, hun. Oh. But, oh, God. You be careful driving! <laughs> but, yeah, it's absolute... It's just bad, madness. The Welsh have no idea what they're doing when it comes to roadworks. <laughs> have no idea whatsoever. What time is the last one? What time is the last one? I don't know. I've got the book, books up there. Uh, let me have a look at my phone. Like that. I can always ring them. Oh, I've got no signal on this phone. No signal whatsoever. Oh, I've got the Wi-Fi on. I should have the Wi-Fi still should be going, shouldn't it? Yeah. Hi, Deb. How you doing? Good morning to you. Oh, dear. No network's found. We've had a nightmare, hun. I love you too, Kim. You be careful as well. You be careful driving, sweetheart. Hope your appointment goes okay. Text me later, love, and let me know how you, how you get on. We love you, Kim. Love you with all my heart. Uh, How are you doing today, Debbie? How are you doing all right? We've had a bit of a nightmare today. Taking us about three, three hours to get around some roadworks. Right, so they're saying that the office shuts at five o'clock. I can give them a ring. Oh, oh, you're glad you're all right, Deb. But we had, uh, they closed what the roads off that we wanted to go down to get to where we're going. And we've had to drive round for nearly three hours trying to find a diversion because they didn't give us a diversion because of the roadworks and it's just been an absolute nightmare we're finally back on track now we're on the right road because they opened it up finally uh, but it's just absolutely it's just been terrible Deb really bad we've been on the road since half ten this morning it's now what quarter to three Oh, just 
the Welsh have no idea when it comes to their roads. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're finally back on track though, so it's still going to take us another three hours to get there. We was hoping to be there by now, weren't we? Near enough there. Now. So. But it's just, if it weren't for them roadworks and then blocking the road off that we wanted to go down, there was no other way. We tried every other way, didn't we, to go. There was no other diversion. You couldn't go down that road to it, you couldn't go down that road to it, you couldn't go, and you couldn't go anywhere until they finally opened the road up. Hi Trace, how you doing darling? Hope you're doing all right. Yeah, it was frustrating, Deb. It was very, very frustrating. Very frustrating. It was just, uh... You know when you just want to get somewhere, you know, we was hoping to be there by now. Uh, look. Look. Burger bar there as well. We could have had something to eat earlier, couldn't we? Yeah. Uh, Kim's driving at the moment, so I'm sure she's listening, Trace. So, Kim Tracy says hello. Good morning, Carol. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm doing all right. Oh, dear. There. We're on the right track now, thank God. Look, ice cream, could have had an ice cream as well. Yeah. <laughs> Do not put it. No! <laughs> oh, you see the views, guys. Let's see if I can show you the views. One minute. Let's take you out the old up. Hi, Malcolm. How you doing, mate? Yeah, that's the views. Oh, you saw Oh, Carol, we have, we've been stuck down around roadworks for the last three hours. There was no diversion or nothing. They finally opened the road to the road we wanted to go down. We've been trying to... What, we've been driving around trying to find... A diversion. Hi Kerry! How you doing mate? Um, yeah we're trying to drive around trying to find a diversion but there isn't any and then they finally open the road up so we're back on we're on track now but it's just been very very like Deb V said very very frustrating. Happy Eclipse Day yeah you've got the Eclipse haven't you? Yeah, are you all ready? Yeah, it's been a nightmare, Carol. Absolute nightmare. Um, they, they've just it's just like uh, one big road work. It was just bad, wasn't it? It was yeah. so bad. Really, really bad. Just driving around and around and around, trying to find, to go in the right direction. And, just nowhere. You just couldn't go in that direction. Well, I'm going to phone the campsite. What time do you reckon we'll get there? No idea. Quarter to death. We'll be there at quarter to death. Six. We're going to be there a bit earlier. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave it a bit later. It's only quarter to three now, isn't it? Huh? Have we got her? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, um, yeah, I think she hasn't given a well, I'll phone her, I'll phone her and explain the situation. What that, what's that big call where we got stuck around? Where? 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 
basically put those feeding cans around. We've got a speed chase. We're on a mission now. <laughs> We're on a mission. <laughs> Got something to eat as well. We had to go stop at Kentucky, get something to eat. But it was a nightmare. Yeah, I'm not coming back that way. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm definitely not coming back that way. I'm just going to give the campsite a ring, guys. I'm on hold. Coming to you today, uh, Mrs. My name's Mrs. McBride. Hiya, yeah. Uh, we've been stuck around a load of uh, around, around a load of roadworks, and um, we've do, we're going to be with you around about half past five. Is that okay? All oh, right, lovely. Okay, lovely. Thanks ever so much. Bloody roadworks. I wish I took some pictures that I could have shown you. It's buffering a lot now because, uh, yeah, it's going to buffer a lot, guys, because we're in the mountains. So just stick with us guys, stick with us. The speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Slow down. How you all been anyway? How you all been? I was hoping to come on a little bit earlier than this, but there was no point. We were just stuck. <laughs> It's all right. They said they don't, but it's okay for us to turn up a little bit later. For the eclipse, guys. Good morning, Fag. Oh, yeah, thank you, Fag. Thank you. How you doing, mate? Hope you're doing okay today. The speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Slow down. I've been in my greenhouse planting some seeds. Oh, what are you planting, Malcolm? Taking the fourth exit onto Brecon Bypass. Turn right at the roundabout, taking the fourth exit. 
What are you planting? Ooh. Oh, oh, good. I'm glad you're good. Uh, Gas Maria's painting out there, okay, too. Oh, just come back this road, away. Huh? Oh, that one. <laughs> oh. Are you planting vegetables or flowers or what are you planting? Uh, Terry used to plant loads of stuff, didn't you? Yeah. He used to plant all he, that. He, you had a greenhouse, didn't you? With like, uh, tomatoes and peppers and radishes and onions, spring onions. <sighs> yeah, it was good. Radishes were nice. <laughs> My little allotment. Your little allotment you had, didn't you? Yeah. In my back garden. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some carrots and wannabes, sweet peas. Oh, nice. Did you plant carrots? You did, didn't you? Yeah. Had carrots as well, yeah. Oh, that sounds alright. Ferg says he's been growing all winter. Oh, what are you growing, Ferg? <coughs> You should grow some um, salad for the uh, for the summer, Malcolm. You can have with your barbecue. Some spring onion, tomatoes, radishes, lettuces. Did you uh, plant potatoes as well? Yeah. yeah, potatoes. How's Teddy Trace? Hope he's doing okay today. Little little run around teddy bear. I do have a lot of slugs. Oh, do ya? Oh, they won't help. Slugs don't help, do they? Eh? Third being growing peppers, tomato plants, and medical medical weed. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, that's good for it. Oh, I bet your garden smells lovely. Take the second exit. Take the second exit onto A470. Well, at least we ain't got to stop, to stop and get shopping. That'd be even worse if we had to do that. Washing. Wash the window a little bit, babe, please. That's better. Oh, uh, we're quite away yet, Carol. We've got another two, three quarter hours. We're quite away. We would have been there by now if it weren't for the bloody roadworks. We would have well been there by now.
can't believe they blocked the only road. They blocked the only road that we wanted to go up, and there was no other way round it. We tried. You had to go up this certain road, and there was no other way to go. And then they finally opened it. So we've got quite a way to go yet. Candyman's going to put his uh, foot down as much as he can. Uh, we'll get there. I know it does stink. It does suck, yeah. It sucks, Carol. It really does. It's just an absolute nightmare it was. I mean, we left at the campsite early this morning. We left at half past ten, all packed up, ready to go. And then that happens. You might have some thunderstorms. Woo! We've had a bit, we've had rain. But at least it stays lighter now, so... It won't be too bad trying to put it, putting it up's all right, isn't it, so... We thought, oh, we get out of the campsite nice and early. Get there nice and early. No. <laughs> it don't work out that way. Candy man was looking at his map trying to find another route round it, but no, you had to go up that certain road. Tracy's still on. I wanted to find out how Teddy was today. Has he been up to mischief? Big candy man. Boogie last night. No, he never. He was too tired. We went to bed early, the pair of us, because we knew we had to get up and uh, get everything. Load the van up. So we both went to bed quite early early last night. He might do his big boogie tomorrow. I think he'll be too tired tonight. <laughs> he'll do his boogie, he'll do the twist tomorrow. <laughs> Like we did last summer. I was trying to look for that video, Ferg, of you yesterday, last night, but I couldn't find it. I found Big D. I see Big D uh, at that round. Hi, Slim. Hi, Al. How you doing mate? We watched Big D didn't we have that row with that truck driver? Yeah. Wow. He was a nasty piece of work that geezer. He was an idiot. He was trying, he was offering D out. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> the way he got his pow out as well, got his metal iron bar out. <laughs> Big D was a 
Big D was the sensible one. Good for him. He was the bigger man. That's what you've got to be with these idiots. We are ready to live stream. Ah, that's brilliant, Slim. Ah, that's fantastic. Ah, that's brilliant. When are you going to live stream? Oh, can you do it early enough so I can come on and say hello to you? But yeah, it is beautiful here. The views are absolutely beautiful. Looking forward to seeing your live stream. Oh, he definitely could, uh, Carol. Yeah, he could definitely wipe the floor with him. But he, he was the bigger man. He was he was the bigger man, big D. Take the next left onto A470. Oh, good job we got the clutch down. We've got loads of hills to go up, if I remember rightly, about this campsite. Morning, Trina. How are you doing, darling? Hugs to you too. <laughs> Guy was scared even holding the crowbar. He was, yeah. He was. Big D could have just knocked him out big time. You know, they have to have... He didn't even. He wouldn't have to smack him one. He would just have to push him over. Him with his flip flops on. Oh, flip flop man. <laughs> and socks. Flip flop and socks. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you're not sure yet. Okay, Slim. Well, let, let us know and uh, make sure I'm on for you. Give you some support. Trace, how's Teddy today? Is he okay? Has he chewed anything up? country lanes now. Candyman did warn me. He said there's not going to be much motorway. Glory be will be live at Niagara Falls also today. Oh, that's good. Is the mother home clutch holding out? Yeah, it seems to be all doing all right, doesn't it? Yeah, it seems to be all right, Malcolm. Seems to be all right. So far, so good. Touch wood. Touching me head. Yeah, you bugs are going to have a busy old day today. Some glory bees down at Niagara Falls, that'd be good. 
I saw she was driving there yesterday. We're on our way now, after all that. I didn't think we'd ever get out of that bit. <laughs> Did you? We'd got out of it eventually, but you'd have got to the campsite about midnight. Duh. Turn left, turn left, onto A470. I thought, oh no, this could going to be one of them days where we're going to have to park up and sleep in the chairs. <laughs> Malcolm's keyboard's playing up. Oh. oh, it's horrible when your keyboard's playing up. I hate that when my phone plays out in the chat. Always happens at the vigil. place to catch everything. No clouds. Ugh. Has he been on again? Oh, how's your weather over there, guys? I hope it's a lot better. <sighs> hope you haven't ain't no, no more stalls. over there for the eclipse today. Have you all got your telescopes out? Stick with us, stick with us. We've got all the mountains around us. Sasdaq up for a while. So that'd be good to see him.
and uh, really making it matter quite a lot. Have you all got your glasses ready for the eclipse? Because you can't look straight at it. So I remember when we had it, they provided glasses in the newspapers. Do you remember? Toy. I'll keep it down. Wait until it stops buffering and I'll answer that. No, Trino, it's, um, it's the, um, what, the clutch pedal making a noise or is the brake pedal? Clutch pedal keeps making a noise. A bit of WD 40 on it. Need some WD 40 on it. WD-40. I'm always sleeping. Yeah. Can you better sort that out? Well, during the week. He's got some WD-40 to put on. Under a bed. And the doors, Slim said. <laughs> yeah, the doors need WD-40 on them as well, Slim, yeah. You're right there. Look yeah, at that, that uh, clutch. It's only just started, that clutch pedal. It's only just started today. Ah, Huh? Oh, was it? Oh, I've only just noticed it. Oh, uh. nightmare. They closed the road off that we wanted to go down. We tried to get round it several times but we couldn't. 
they finally opened it up. So now we're on the right track. We're on our way now. Still got another two, two hours and 20 minutes to go. So if you want to pop in and out, you can, guys. You've got things to do. We've got a way to go yet. Yeah. Uh, should have been there by now, but never mind. That's the way the cookie crumbles. There's always something. Long drive, but it is nice, yeah, Malcolm. It is a nice drive, but it is a long drive. You're right there. If I remember rightly from last year, we've got a few, we've got quite a few hills to go up. Unless we're coming the other way to it, I don't know. No, we're going. Huh? We're going. We're going. Yeah. There's only one way into it then. Look at that view, you see, look. Beautiful. She's all right. How's your decorating getting on, Lee? How you doing? Cornflakes of beer. <laughs> hey. You wasn't on the road then. You're in the middle of a field. Oh, a lot of bit of traffic coming up. I bet that's done a lot of roadworks. Carol's put a slow down candy man. <laughs> He's had to slow down now, got roadworks again probably. Cornflakes and ketchup. <laughs> Cornflakes and beer. <laughs> Cornflakes and ketchup. 
I like cornflakes and I like ketchup. Oh, there you go. Try that, can't you? So people put ketchup on everything. Yeah. I put mayonnaise on everything, not ketchup. Starting to come out. My grandkids call ketchup dippy. <laughs> I'm trying to read that. Dippy, it was dippy, yeah. <laughs> we call it tomato sauce over here. Chips in it. Does that make sense? Dippy. I have to start calling tomato sauce dippy now. Can I have some dippy? Okay today. Nice to see you. Welcome in. Just stuck in a little bit of traffic. After 350 yards, turn right onto Station Road. <laughs> Freedom Misfits, good morning, sweetheart. How you doing, darling? Hope you're doing all right. Oh, God. Somewhere. No, yeah. you can't, Terry. Well, it's warming enough. It's freezing early, have a damn warm. window a bit. Ooh, that sun's come out. Nice. Nice to see a bit of sunshine.
more roadworks. I wouldn't mind if they were, they were working on them. village, a beautiful town, with different coloured houses. Just in case you don't know, you are driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have a big mural on the wall. Yeah, I know. Did you see that big memorial on the wall there, guys? Look. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely driving on the wrong... Well, as T Candyman says, we drive on the... No, they drive on the right. You drive on the right. We drive on the correct side. We drive on the correct side. <laughs> Right, onto Station Road. There we go, up we go. Whoa, car mate. Woo, up we go. <laughs> I could never drive over your way. I'd probably end up on the wrong side of the road myself. Oh, look at the beautiful country. Look, a beautiful day so far, turned out to be. A few black clouds, yeah, Malcolm. But the sun is trying to come out and stay out. Yeah, we'll probably get a downpour soon. Thanks, guys. We will head to 
big girl, good gay girl, game times. Oh, you decided you're on strike. Why are you on strike, Angela? <laughs> Why are you on strike? <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh, girl. <laughs> the speed limit is 30 miles per hour. Slow down. It's been an absolute craziness, Betsy. The road works is just absolute crazy. We had no way of getting through. We were just driving up and down, up and down, trying to find a way to get round three hours. And then they finally opened the road that we wanted to go down. Now, but it has been It has been an absolute, absolute nightmare. We left the campsite at half past 10 this morning. And if it hadn't been for them world works, we would have been there by now. We would have been setting up by now. But yeah, it's just, uh, it was like, it was just a uh, road from hell, wasn't it really? Yeah. It was just awful. But we're, going, we're on our way. We've got exactly two hours now. Until we get there. <laughs> two hours passing back. <laughs> Two hours. Oh, what a, what a nightmare. Just 
one of them ones where you're going somewhere but you don't get anywhere. Services. I see services. Oh, copy toilets. <laughs> Two hours, well, one hour and fifty-nine minutes now. There, I feel it. Oh, this is where we stopped before. Oh, I'm gonna go and Greg's get myself a donut. I need some sugar. Ah, oh, this is where we stopped before. Yeah, remember we start parked in the car park just over there. Oh yeah. Remember? I go down there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I go. Because you got that yeah. camera van there, yeah. This is where we parked, be parked before, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to wait here for a minute. Candyman's just going to use the bathroom. I'm not going to switch that in, you know. And then I'm going to go and get myself a donut. <laughs> Oops. Hiya guys. Woo -hoo. Yeah, well oh. <laughs> trust it to happen to us guys. Everything always happens to us. Yeah? The road gets blocked off. So we can't get that down the road we wanna go. See you off uh, there's Jay. There's the bunting up train. Whee, where am I going? Over here. There we are. Still got it up. We won't take that down now. Candyman's uh, put a, hammered it. He's put a couple of nails in and he's hooked it on to the nails. So that's still up. That won't come down now. We're going to have that all the way on our journey. That will be up there for the, forever now. And we put your um, mega, make mega sign um, on the front of the uh, van. We've got that on there now. So put that on there. It does look good, doesn't it, uh, Sheree? It really does look good. I love it. Um, so we've got the mega, so we've got Make America Great again on the front of the bonnet. Uh, that's with the, that's on top. We've got the English Rose. Well, I'll, I'll show you when I get out. I don't know if you can see it from here. One minute. Let's have a look. No, you can't see it from here. But I'll show you. Oh, it is nice to be on the move again, Malcolm. It is, yeah. We got we won't we won't be going back to Barry again, I'm afraid. We didn't have such a great time as we did last time. They don't seem to care about that that they worry it they're more uh that campsite is more we've realised this time round that that campsite is more for uh, selling the static caravans. Um, they don't really care about their touring area, uh, their showers and their... But their toilets really do need updating, really do need updating, but they don't really... They don't seem to care about it. They don't seem to care about the people that are on the uh, touring bit, the caravan bit. They're more... They're more uh, for... They're static caravans, you know, where they... Because they sell them there. So... They're more for that bit. Oh, you have a, you have a new Misfit wall sticker coming in. Oh, wow, that's good. Oh, we're dealing with my son today. He spent an hour this morning trying to convince me that he did not need his instrument for band <laughs> and that he and director hates him oh, oh I hope they don't hate him I really don't hate him and you do need an instrument <laughs> to be in a band <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you definitely need an instrument to be in a band. Oh, the sky's fallen. Ah, oh, this is not Pepsi, it's not orange. Tango! Are you ready for the eclipse, guys? Are you ready? Oh, has not. Oops. <laughs> well, this guy has not fallen. All right. Oh, stay enjoying it, and I'm not accepting any local phone calls. No, quite right. You have a nice relaxing day, for, uh, Angela. Put your feet up and uh, don't cook anything. Just put your feet up and just have a relaxing day. Okay, welcome back, Carol. Ah, oh, that was nice of you. Bless you. You're a great grandmother, you are. Great grandma. Yeah, you're a great grandma, you are. You spoil them children, Carol. <laughs> Don't give that to candy, man. No treats for candy, man. <sighs> Lips are still sore. I can't believe we just got this. I just can't believe it today. We could have been there by now, setting everything up. But instead, never mind. It's one of them things. How far north are you going? We're going to Snowdonia. You'd have to ask Candyman how far north that is. But Snowdonia, we're going to. I mean, the campsite's beautiful. We went there last year. It's absolutely beautiful campsite. And um, the views are absolutely amazing. Because uh, you're over the campsite. is right in the middle. And you overlook the sea. And then behind you is the mountains. It's a beautiful campsite. Everyone call Angela. <laughs> if I had a number, I'd call her. I've got Telegram. <laughs> but I don't think you've got Telegram, have you, Angela? Good. Go, go, go and get donuts. Do you want anything? Do you want donuts? Yeah.
Yeah, sure, it's coffee. Oh, yeah. Who's going? Oh, I can't see. Oh, sorry, guys. You can have some of mine, Angela. You can have a bit of mine. Bye, home gator girl. Take care. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you for dropping in, gator girl. Love you, girl. Yeah. Hola guys. I've got the champagne there she has. Did you see her? I've got the champagne. way again. Feel better now? <laughs> the candy man needed your bathroom badly. Oh, badly. <laughs> putting loads of stuff to me as well and then uh, I'm sure Kim Sweet Home Alabama Kim will have a few bits for me and uh, and you Angela oh I'm going to come back as big as a house <laughs> Like a donut, chocolate, strawberry donut. I like any donut. <laughs> That's why I'm with candy man. <laughs> I like a donut. <laughs> One minute, say like you'll get there at half past five. The next thing, stop there. 
Yeah, only for five minutes. That's not putting on half hour, is it? The journey. Well, if you are worried about your... <laughs> no, I'm not worried about that. Um, I've gone past that stage where I worry about that, uh, Ange, Angela. Well past that stage where I worry about my weight. <laughs> I used to years ago, but not now. The more you worry, the more it just stresses you out. That's what I was saying the other day about these poor young girls nowadays. They worry about what they look like, they worry about their weight. It just stresses them out worrying about things like that. Quite right, Carol. Carol said, if I, I say, if you don't like it, don't look at it. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> I do remember that one, Carol. If you don't like it, don't look at it. <laughs> That's a good one. Definitely remember that one. Quite right, right, Angela. Amen to that. Definitely, yeah. You only have the one life, and it's our life to live it. Quite right. Totally agree. Totally, totally agree with that. Nice little village. Turn left, then take the next right. Uh oh. Be to the way down here. Kim is too stressed to eat breakfast. Any suggestions? Oh, bless her. Oh, um, have take, a cup of coffee. Take her out on a girl's night out. No, that's Lee. Let her have a cup of coffee. See how she feels after a cup of coffee. She might feel a little bit hungry after that. And she might calm down a little bit. Calm her right down. Oh, the cap's right down there, look. Calm her right down, and she might feel a little bit better. Oh, bless her heart. Yeah. That's Cam in the Caravan Club. Oh, I'm trying not to be too stressed out, KMR. If you're listening, <coughs> have a nice cup of coffee and relax. A sheep that I did not have when I went to bed. Oh, that's the cat. The cat has done that, Angela. I used to do it. I used to have that. I used to wake up. My other dog, she used to lay, sleep on the pillar next to me, and I, I woke up a few, many, many times with uh, scratches on my nose. Thank you. 
smoking around him and uh, his breathing weren't too good. I'm still trying to find out what was this. Okay Shireen, that's no problem. Just nice to know that you're listening. Oh, still congested. Oh, bless ya. You just have another day of relaxing. Have another day of relaxing, Kerry. Sit down and chill out. down again in a minute, didn't it? Watch out for you, Angela. You and Carol get me in trouble. <laughs> That's all right, though. I don't mind getting in trouble. I'm always in trouble. People used to call me trouble when I used to work at the uh, petrol garage. All the uh, cab drivers used to come and go, oh, that trouble. I must have that face. Enjoy the journey with us. Beautiful views.
come back and said, if you live there, we're climbing the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful, Wales. Let me just show you here on the side where I am. Just see these tricks at the moment. Ah, there we go. Show you the view up there. That's a better view. Carol and I just travel just the two of us. <laughs> The man's going crazy on the road. <laughs> okay, Lee, we'll see you soon. Thanks for popping in. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way in or way out, guys. Helps with the channel. If you're new to the channel, hello, hello, hello. We are on our way to the next campsite. We've had a bit of a delay today. So we're not going to get there till a bit later than we hoped for. Remember the mountain driving bus in Scot to Scotland? Oh, really? We are hoping to get to Scotland at some point. It is nice, isn't it? The views are beautiful. Look after Kim R, um, Lee. Big hugs and big, uh, big kiss and big hugs to ya, to the pair of ya. Oh, she's all right, bless her heart. There's nothing worse than trying to sort things out with the council and it about your, uh. your house and all that. It does stress you out. It does. It really does. It's horrible. Yeah. Woo! I'm looking forward to seeing that live stream. I can't wait for it. See you and Carol. Oh, that's going to be fun. That is going to be fun. Troublemakers are on their way. <laughs> that is going to be fun. How long you got left to go until you go there, uh, Angela? What date is that date again? On the road again. Beep, beep. Bird banner. Some right nice mountains here for you to climb up Malcolm. Mind you, you wouldn't want to do it in this weather. You'll be slipping and sliding all over the place.
thought you would love it. <laughs> oh, a bit dangerous. Mind you, you can get them shoes now, you get spikes in, can't you? Yeah. Climbing boots. This feels weird today, I'm being lazy. Into the, roundabout the, roundabout the recliner with my fleece blanket. Oh, good for you. Good for you, Angela. You need a rest. <coughs> You've been working and cooking too much. Nice to have a day in, in, in front of the sun on the sofa and do nothing. July 24th, I must write that down. July 24th. Mm. Enter the roundabout, take the second exit. You deserve a nice, uh, relaxing day. I used to love a duvet day. Just sit on your Enter sofa and do nothing, especially if it's raining or whatever exit. outside. Is that what I call it? A duvet? Duvet day, yeah. You sit on your sofa with your duvet wrapped round you or a blanket. Duvet day. Might get halfway up and turn round. <laughs> I should imagine you would in this weather. Oh, I would like to climb a mountain in this weather. <laughs> They're big mountains to climb. I don't even think I'd get halfway, Malcolm. eating a jam donut. Can you eat that without licking your lips? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, it certainly will. I'm looking forward to watching it. <laughs> I can't wait to see you two gonna be mad crazy <laughs> we said I would you remember it <laughs> Stick with us guys, we're gonna go through some hot spots. jokes that you were saying yesterday. You're still trying to figure them out. Oh, 
Oh, I understood it. Just Candyman didn't understand it. The first one was the Texas midget. The his boots was were so big for his short little legs that his balls were catching after them. <laughs> He's shaking his head serene, he still don't understand. The second one was that the guys he dropped their a bat off on the 25th anniversary and left her there and we picked her up on the 50th anniversary. Well, you understood that one, didn't you? That <laughs> nah, it's gone straight over his head again, Shereen. The first one, anyway. Nah? Oh, he's concentrating. Concentrating on the road. That's his way of saying I don't understand. Taking the second exit. The speed limit is 30 miles per hour. Slow down. Well, that was me come to a stop. Why is she saying that? The second exit onto A470. She laughed, didn't it? Huh? You stabbed Jeremy Clarkson one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy Clarkson sat nav. looking a bit dull now, that sun comes out again. Looking really dull. Oh. <laughs> can can, can, can man slow down? I'm going to fall off the roof. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got your bubble wrap up there? Have anyone got their crash helmets? Always need your crash helmets. Can I put your crash helmet on if you're up there? Imagine a little migrant, only three foot tall, with cowboy boots and his balls were raw and itchy because we're on top of the cowboy boot. Ah, yeah, there, see? Shereen's trying to explain it to you. <laughs> trying to explain the whole joke to you, but you still... I don't understand. Carol's taking over the troublemaker on the roof. Oh. You have the pair of them up there. Yeah. Troublemaker used to go on the roof, but now Carol's on there now. I hope you got your bubble wrap and I hope you got your helmet on, Carol. The 
don't want it sliding off the front of it and going underneath the van. Especially the way Candyman drives. I'm doing a damn good job, yeah? You are doing a damn good job. It is, um, Shireen, it is beautiful here. Yeah. I remember coming through here last year, I couldn't believe it, I couldn't believe the views. Carol says she's holding on for dear life. Oh. <laughs> you wait till we go up some of the hills. You'll be sliding backwards. Just strap yourself down. Yeah, definitely. Strap yourself down, Carol. Oh, cool, yeah. Slow down. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Shereen, for reminding me. Oh, Turbo's birthday. I'm going to email him. Wish you happy birthday. I'll do that now. Thanks, Shereen, for reminding me. I thought about that last night. I thought I must have. Email to her, but I wish you, wish you happy birthday. <coughs> yeah, happy birthday to Turbo. Donut guys. I got a chocolate one with marshmallow inside it. Exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, right. 
got a signal, yeah, I've got a signal. Oh, travel fans at um, Niagara Falls as well. You must be feeling a lot better then. If he's travelling, mind you, he's only he's only um, in Canada, so. Jay Jones said he's prepared to turn uh, to What time is it supposed to happen, guys? So do I, Shireen. So do I. Just pull in here a minute. While we're pulling in here. Oh, right. Yeah, I hope it's not raining as well. Oh, 1.40 p.m. from Texas straight up east to Canada. Ah, right, yo. I'm forty. That's Texas time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so it's about seven, quarter twenty to eight over here. Oh, we'll still be setting up probably. <laughs> Nice of you to pull over like that, Candy Man. Slim and I are just, I, ju I'm just as considerate. Yeah, yeah you got to be. Yeah, Candy Man is very considerate when it comes to things like that. Yeah. You got a convoy of people behind you. Because we can't go too fast because we've got so much stuff in here, I don't think the van will take it. Oh, you're spinning it everywhere again. Oh, you watch this coffee go everywhere now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you take the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, coffee's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> gonna go everywhere. You go over a bump in a minute. Whoop. That's it. <laughs> As your sweet little doggy, Shree. Running around that big garden. He's got a lovely big garden to run about in. so far, beautiful views. Oh well. Oh yeah. We have ourselves a convoy. <laughs> we got a convoy. <laughs> Tails in front. Good. <laughs> we got ourselves a car, boy. <laughs> so dad, go and fall off the roof. Just a lovely. Yep. Oh, you fell off right now. <laughs> the speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Slow down. Got himself a convoy. Uh, keep buffering all the time. Cash loves his yard here. Ah, oh, I bet he does. I bet. Is that his name? Cash. Oh, bless. Oh, Cash. Love you, Cash. He's a beautiful little doggy. There you go. He's bound and downloaded up the trucking and trucking. Yeah, they're all gone now. People have left our convoy. Good, I've got some that. Stop following Kenji, man. Not following him no more. You don't know where he's going. I know where I'm going. I've got nothing in front of me. Wait until I see Peanut. Oh, it's Peanut. It's Peanut. You, you have a dog or your cat? Oh, oh. Cash and peanut. <laughs> I love the names. Cash and peanut. Another dog. Oh. oh, I can't wait to see him train. Can't wait. Cash and peanut. <laughs> what breeds are they, Shreen? Don't want them on. It's so strong. Strong, is it? Yeah. Well, at least it'll wake you up. Hey. 
Ash is a hunting dog. He is black, rough, can't, can't mix with bulldog. Mm. And Peanut is a pit bull. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Is he a good hunting dog? Is he a good guard dog? Peter is a pit bull. Oh, I love pit bulls. And then what's that fan going through now? The American pit bull. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the pit bulls are banned over here now. No, just the American. Just the American pit bull, yeah. Which is out of order. Yeah. Oh, baby girl. Orky's nose is still on the ground. I bet, yeah. He sure is, even when Slim takes him out for a walk, his nose is on the, his nose is still on the ground. Great, uh, yeah, great, uh, guard dog. Yeah, we're not, we're not allowed to have American pit bulls over here no more. You could have them, but they've got to be registered. Yeah, they've got to have a muzzle on and all that, have they? I have a muzzle on every time you take them out. Yeah. I just don't agree with that. Pitbulls are banned in Antonia, where Thurg lives. We still have them though. Yeah, there's people still, still got them over here. But you've got to have a muzzle on them and all that when you take them out. And you've got to have them registered. You've got to be tagged. You've got to be tagged. Which is not fair, really, because it's not the dog, is it, you know, at the end of the day? Our Pitbull is a family dog. He's not as mean as Cash, but then again, Cash is trained for hunting. Yeah. No, no, no dogs are mean. No dogs are mean. No, they, they get... The, the way you bring them up, no dogs are vicious. It's the way you bring them up. Dogs are innocent. They don't come out as puppies, like babies, isn't it? They don't come out as puppies and think, oh, well, I'm going to go and bite someone now. Or a baby don't come out of the mother's womb and says, oh, I'm going to go and bug someone now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or kill someone. It's the way they get brought up. Oh, if they fall in with the wrong... Not dogs, but with people, if they fall in with the wrong crowd. Cool, tell you take the corners a bit wide today. Carol had a big a pit bull and he was a big wimp. <laughs> Yeah, quite right. Yeah, it's the way you bring them up. It's the owners that make them. Yeah, them. yeah, it's the owners that even make them like it. a bit blurry the screen at the moment but it's probably just because of the rain that's better might be the signal Okay, Ferg, I'm just glad you're watching. 
Are you listening? I'm watching and listening. You play. I'm busy with my grandson. Oh, you must love having him around, living with you now. Oh, Marie's a bit stressed out though, bless her heart. I hope she's okay. It was all white, the blue eyes, oh, beautiful, beautiful dog. Beauty. See, the other dog over here that's got a bad name is a Staff. Staffordshire Bull Terriers. They have a really bad name over here. But they're good as gold dogs. They're really good dogs. I had one. And they wouldn't they were like a fly. They're just the way you train them, the way you bring them up. Beautiful views, guys. If you've got this on the big TV, it must look awesome. Oh, do you remember that house when you went into it? Huh? <laughs> that house the last time. You didn't see it, did you? Careful about them in cupboards when we get when we stop. <laughs> it is really well, beautiful. Yeah, we gotta be careful of opening these cupboards when we stop. Everything's gonna come flying out. We broke a few glasses opening the cupboards, haven't we? Yeah. The cups. Everyone is getting. Pocket bullies, they're not banned here. Pocket bullies, I've not heard of them. I've not heard of them. Golden yellow eyes, oh, they're beautiful. Did you stop down there? Yeah. Must be my turn. Oh, I can't. I see peanut. I've seen cash. UK breed. I've never heard of that. Um... I've never heard of pocket bull bullies once before. I'll have to uh, Google that. Whee! I will Google it, Rose. Uh, I can't uh, Ferg, I will Google it. I just said that to Terry, I'll have to Google that. I want a... Oh, I've not heard of them. I have to Google that one as well. Let's have a look. Right, pocket bullies. Let's have a look at that one first. A good family dog. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. Oh, they're just like a staff.
Det är det fullt av. Det är beautiful fair. They are gorgeous. Ja. I know what you're talking about now, Ferg. And what's the one that... Oh, Cherie, yeah, beautiful dog. Spanish breed. Okay, Shmeen. Yeah, that's a Spanish dog, that one you're talking about, Shireen. It's a beautiful dog. Mind you, I think all dogs are beautiful. They're big. Carol said she wants a teddy bear dog so badly. <laughs> Tracy's got a teddy bear dog. <laughs> I didn't even know Long. Oh, it's breed of a dog. Teddy bear dog. Let me have a look. Thirty-five miles. I got it. Oh, Carol, they're so cute. I wouldn't mind one of them actually. There's a little cutie. You want a long haired one or a short haired one? I'm one of them actually, Carol. Easy to look after. And you can pick them up and give them a cuddle. You'll have to get happy to get you one of them.
<coughs> I wouldn't mind another English Bull Terrier. They're beautiful dogs. You wanted a Doberman, didn't you? Dobermans are nice, they're nice dogs. Yeah. Okay, Ferg, will you take care? Big kiss and a big hug to ya. You. you, Peyton and Marie. Give Marie a hug for me because she's going through a lot at the moment, I think. We love ya. Oh, he said he's going to get you one. Yee hee! The Dulux dog, yeah, I like the Dulux dog. Yeah, they're nice dogs as well, Malcolm. Dulux dogs. All dogs are nice. Yeah, she does. She, what I read on Facebook, she's going through a lot at the moment, bless her heart. She needs a big hug. Everyone needs a big hug now and then. Yeah. People do, I don't get one. Ah, yeah, you do sometimes. When you're good. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. It's all these mountains are going up and down. Like the fluffy ones. Yeah. All the stuff's all over the place in the back. I was all right, she's got her own bed. She's sitting looking out the window at the moment. Make sure you go 20 miles an hour. <sighs> nice little village. Nothing there, but... I live out here. I live out here. Peaceful. But no shops. But I have a shop nearby, isn't there? Yeah, it sells well, everything. Like miles away. Left yeah, definitely. They're nice. Uh, Ten Bernards, they're nice. They're big dogs. Great day. Great day, yeah. yeah. Irish Wolfhound. Yeah. They're massive. Bad enough with a law on the bed. They're no little great, great day and all out. Hey. Like a Irish Wolfhound. Like a little donkey. Ugh. Girl. Never get there, keep pulling over at this rate. Look 
going to get there. Carol put hi Candyman, love ya. Hi Carol, love you too. Love you too. You still laughing at his belly dancing, Carol? Come. <laughs> the speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Slow down. I'm doing 40. Where are we at? And Carol said, yeah, she's still laughing at your belly dancing. Ah. <laughs> I think you'll be laughing at that for a long time. I know I was. You bet you see the next instalment. <laughs> the twist next, didn't ya? Yeah. We would have definitely been there by now and all set up, wouldn't it? Have we? Yeah. Until that bloody road works. Sitting down, have a nice glass of wine by now. Yeah. Gonna wait. What's that we thought do it? I forgot about that. 22. Put the charger in. Busy on the roads. Oh, Malcolm said he likes night driving, not so busy on the roads. Yeah. 
I don't like night driving. Because of the, uh, because of the lights. Headlights coming. The headlights coming towards me. Uh, some people have their lights blaring. You can't see what's right in front of you. Ooh, it's a hill. <coughs> Come on, girl, up you get. <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> I have to go to pee, Slip said. You can't have a pee. No, we're not there yet. We've got another 52 minutes to go, yeah? You can't have a pee. Don't wet yourself, Slim. <laughs> no peeing in the pool. Oh, Linda Dean! Hi, darling. How you doing? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful here, Linda. It really is. How's New York? Upper State, of course. How is New York Upper State? Hope it's okay. Travel at night seems go faster. It does, yeah. I'm glad you're doing fine, girl. I don't know if this is charging or not, you know. Don't stay in properly. Beautiful day here today, Rose. Sunny and warm. Yee hee! Yay! Oh, I'm glad you've got some sun. We had a little bit of sun, but not a lot. It came out for about five minutes and that was it, gone. <laughs> Trina's back. Welcome back, Trina. Got my chicken out the air fryer and in the fridge to cool so I can make some chicken salad. Nice. There, stick with us, guys. We are in the mountains, so stick with us. It will buffer. We've got the mountains all around us. It is beautiful, though. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 getting ready for that famous eclipse this afternoon in New York. 
Oh, but everyone will be out watching that. That sounds delicious, uh, tri uh, Trina. Go over the roundabout, taking the second exit onto A470. Welcome to Snowdonia! Yay! Go over the roundabout, taking the second exit. We just saw a sign, guys. Welcome to Snowdonia! Everyone seems to be partying but me. I bet it's busy in New York now at the moment. Today. I bet it's really, really busy. I've never been to New York, Linda. I'd love to come to New York. I've seen it so many live, I've watched so many live streamers now that go around filming New York. It looks awesome. It's just a shame about the government you got there. Twenty fifty. Oh, okay. Twenty ninety. Oh, we won't see the eclipse till twenty ninety. Malcolm said. I doubt if I'll still be here. <laughs> they don't show us it. They, all they, the live streamers that I watch. Uh, just show you around New York. They don't actually show you the beautiful countryside. I'd love to see that. I didn't realise that uh, New York had beautiful countryside. It's a shame they don't show it to you. Oh, he nearly fell off. I don't know what he's doing. Like live in snow country, and yes, our government needs something else here. Yeah, they really are. They really, really are. I want to go. I want to go to Trump Tower. That's where I want to go, Linda. I'd love to go in there. I went to New York City once, and that was enough. <laughs> Well, I'd like to go once. That'd probably be enough for me. But yeah, I'd love to go to Trump Tower. Go and have a look in there. And obviously, I wanted to. I want to walk around the um, where the twin towers were. I'd like to see that. And yeah. Um, I'd like to eat quite a bit of food in New York as well. The food looks delicious. Oh, you went to Ground Zero but missed your Trump Towers. Oh. oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I've seen a couple of live streamers walk around Ground Zero and uh, it's very sad. I'd like to uh, just pay some respect there. My mum and dad a bit. My mum and dad went, went there. They saw it. The property used to work there. Huh? The property used to work He didn't work in New York. He worked in London. My brother worked for Bank of America. And uh, he knew a few people that worked in the Twin Towers. And one of my brother's friends, he was actually on the phone. When the twin, when the planes hit the twin towers, so yeah, it's very sad. The poor people, the firemen, it's just so sad. You've know, reached your driving session, time limit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> The 
do remember watching that live. I think everyone knows where they were when that happened. Huh? Quite now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so, Linda. Who's still on? Come on, pop on the chat and say hello to Linda. Who's still on? Come on, guys, pop on. <laughs> you didn't scare anyone away. They're probably busy. people watching come on guys pop on the chat they cut me it out Linda because we got we're on such a long journey we've had really a bit of a heck of a day We should have been there by now, but we got held up by a load of traffic works. Uh, they blocked the road off that we wanted to go down and we couldn't find another way around. But eventually they opened the road up. So we're like three hours behind it. Behind. I'll just show you this view, guys. One minute. Snowdonia in a place place in Wales. Is it north of Wales, isn't it? It's uh, mid north. Mid north of Wales we're in. Jane hasn't been on today. She's not been on for a while actually, Jane. I know she watches and she watches the replays and she shares a lot of it. She shares a lot of my streams out, but bless her heart. She's good. I love Jane's a bit. She just showed you some of the uh, the views that we got here. That window's filthy dirty. The windows are filthy dirty. trying to get the van up the hills here. There might have been. Sorry about the buffering guys. But it will buffer quite a lot. amazing if you've got it on the big TV.
verdadeira força. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you, darling. Thank you. Oh, the house toppled over there. Well, it looked like it toppled over there. Wales is a beautiful country. Back in the holder now. Yeah, it's a beautiful country. How long we got left? Thirty seven minutes. Thirty seven minutes. Sixteen miles. We do that in thirty seven more less than thirty seven minutes. Go through the little town yet, yeah? Barmouth. Under the bridge. Under the bridge we go. There's a few people got stuck underneath that bridge. start bathing. Seven minutes, pass it back. <laughs> there we've got uh, 16 miles to go, 15 miles to go. 15 miles, pass it back. <laughs> the sat nav said us that it'll take 36 minutes to get to, to do 15 miles in. I don't think so. They do like their own works here, don't they? Mm. <sighs> Did you see that Glory B is in Niagara Falls, New York? I told her she could have stopped and picked me up. Yeah, I saw that she was driving there yesterday. Um, I haven't seen her on today. I don't. Is she live now? It's probably where everyone is. If she is, yeah, she could have picked you up. back yeah we're stuck in got road roadworks again Carol I'm sick to death of these roadworks I 
What's that smell? Give you the brakes. Don't touch them, they're going now. Oh, uh, did she? Oh, I'll have to have a look back on that, Linda. I never saw that. I know she was driving there yesterday because I gave her a thumbs up when she was driving there. Um, but I didn't see that she was actually there. Oh, she's live, yeah. Glory B's live. That's where everyone is. I'll give her a thumbs up, bless her. Travel fans live as well. I saw it when I, I watched it when um, Polish Agnes was there. She went to Niagara Falls cut, not last not last year, the year before I think it was. Um, she was there and she went on one of the boat rides. She was eating quite late at night and signed off to go to the casino. She went to the casino, little gambler. I didn't think Glory B would be a gambler. Ah. Yeah, she's got quite a few people watching her. Uh, good on her. Glory B, being a gambler, eh? Yeah. Hey, going to the casino. Yeah. I like a casino. I love going to the casino. I like a bit of gambling. Never been to one. Not much, though. I've never been I know when to stop. Have you never been to one? No. Oh, right, okay, Linda. <laughs> oh, she's not in. Oh, she might have had a little flutter. Enough though, are we having a little flutter? Never know. Could be your lucky night. Come on! Handyman's getting impatient. They're red, they're red, they're red. Well, they should just come, shouldn't they? <sighs> oh, what's going on here? Go, go! Someone go! He's going. Oh, I'm blaming him. What's going on? Oh, it's terrible, isn't it, Linda? No one's moving. I think we should just go. 
Yeah, you get halfway through that and the fucking lights will change for them. Oh, well, they'll have to let you go, wouldn't they? Fuck it, go. Hey, they're going. Oh, they're going now, look. Stop, Terry, stop. Stop, Terry. Ooh. Yes. whatsoever. Ridiculous, Linda, weren't they? They're absolutely ridiculous. No one was moving for at least five minutes. They set them on the long timer. <laughs> They, they set them themselves, don't they? Traffic lights. Oh, can you? Oh, I 
got 11 miles to go. After 350 yards, enter the roundabout, take the first exit onto a 496. Mammoth. Enter the roundabout, take the first exit. There we go. Look at a really steep hill here in Barmouth. Slow down. 20. Hi Sheree, welcome back. This is a dub. We just sat at a load of really slow traffic lights. Oh, I'm just tired. It's been a long day, Linda. It's been a long, long day. We was up early this morning. We was at the campsite half past ten. We thought we would have been here by now. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm knackered. I've still got to empty all this out yet. Yeah, put the all in up. So, yeah, I'm just tired. Candyman's tired as well. It's been a long old day, it's six, nearly six o'clock in the evening here now. So yeah, it's been a very long day. drive yeah riding is very tired yeah it is especially when you've been going around traffic like the road works for three hours finding you're trying to find your way out of it but yeah, it's a beautiful drive it is you wait till we get to the campsite I'll show you this uh, the view that we got from the campsite But yeah, I'm, I'm just we're just we're just tired, the pair of us. Yeah, thank you guys for sticking with us. Thank you ever so much. I really appreciate you guys. I love you, Shireen. And Carol, what is she still with us? Linda, I love you too, darling. Malcolm, Tanya, Tanya, thank you for sticking with us. Yeah, we've got to. We have to, Carol. We've got to put the all in up tonight. Because otherwise I won't have anywhere to sleep. Because all the stuff's on my side of the bed. Well, I have to put my bed up yet. I have to make it. My bed is uh, two settees and it goes into a bed. So I have to make the bed yet. Put the all in up, get everything out. And then make the bed. We so much enjoy the views and the different places you can take us to. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, um, uh, Shireen. I really do appreciate that because sometimes I think to myself, oh, you know, do they, do, do you, my viewers get, do my viewers and my family get bored? I hope they don't. But, you know, sometimes it does cross your mind on what to do and And if people get bored with your channel and everything, I really hope they don't. We try and make it exciting, but these these long these tra days where we're travelling is so long. And like I said, we would have been there a lot, lot long uh, 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 earlier if it weren't for that. 
to sleep here in a better place. Oh, Malcolm, thank you. Really appreciate you. Oh no, we're near the, we're going through, we're going to go through Bournemouth tap, but Barmouth, sorry, Bournemouth, I don't know why I said Bournemouth, Barmouth town soon, town centre. Uh, we'll take you around Barmouth this week. It's a lovely little seaside resort. A couple of things we want to get in the cabinet shop. Yeah, we want to get a, we want to get a barbecue as well. We need to get a barbecue. Kerry, you're still with us, mate. Thank you, brother, for being on and sticking with us. I appreciate you guys. Oh, we've done yeah. Well, it's like when I watch you guys over there. You know, I watch the live streamers over in the States and, you know, I'm, I'll probably never get to see some of it, what you guys do. So, you know, Kerry with the water skiing the other week, I'll never get to see that. So that was awesome to watch. So, yeah, there's a few things, you know. Are you on or off? Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. Yeah, when people come on, you want to go on there, give them their support, give them your support as well. Yeah, Glory B's on, so we'll go over there, give her support. If Gator Girl came on, if you came on, Kerry, you know, we'd all come over and give you, give you support. Oh, thanks, Carol. I love you, darling. Slim, you're still watching. Thanks for sticking with us. Did you have your pee? <laughs> no, you're not sitting there with your legs crossed still. <laughs> but yeah, you've got to support everyone. I mean, you can't schedule these lives. And when you're on a long live like we do, I mean, we've been live now for three, three, nearly three, three hours and 15 minutes. Not everyone can stay on all the time. I understand that. I completely understand. Because like, sometimes I watch a live stream and if they're on for a long, long time, then you, you know, you've got things to do. So, and other people come on, so you want to go and support them. I completely understand. Girl sidetracks you. <laughs> oh, bless them. Say hello to them for me, Kerry. Say hello for them from English Rose. Oh, that was Code Yellow, not me. Oh, well, Code Yellow. I always say P. <laughs> The rain got long to go, five point nine miles, five point eight miles. Time left, eighteen minutes. And then we've got the bathroom that we have to put up with as well, so people do get bored with the bathroom. I can understand that as well. I've watched many, many live streamers driving along the road, and the bathroom gets on your nerves. So people seem to lose interest in it. Which is understandable. Ashu! Hi sweetheart, how are you doing? Do you have solar eclipse in your country? No. No, we haven't. But um, I hope you guys enjoy it. 
we have had one in my lifetime. I watched it back in the 90s. So, uh, yeah, it was awesome to see. the start of the start of the beach that's in uh, where we're going Barmouth and there comes the beach you can just see it in front of you over here I'll take you out show you guys Yeah, I can't wait here. Yeah. Could stretch our legs, Linda. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that was just, yeah. <laughs> just trying to show you some of it, but the wall's in the way. But here we go. Yeah, one minute. Be careful, Terry. Well, I can't help it, I've got to stay on the other side of the road. Prepare to turn left after half a mile. It's very um small to Jubilee Road. We'll go underneath this bridge now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, that way. Yeah, this is the one. Pull that mirror in a little bit. Huh? Pull that mirror in a little bit. Recalculating. Yeah. Turn left. Then, at end of the road, turn left. After 160 out. yards, keep left onto Beach Road, then take the next left. Oh, I really hope you will carry it up there. Take the next. 
Fantastic. It's nice to know that people like your channel. It's really nice to get the feedback and the appreciation for what you do. Oh, everyone will be live. Everyone's going live. I'll be shutting mine down soon when we get to the campsite. <laughs> so we can all go, you can all go on there. You have to have about 10 different phones. So you can go on 10 different chats. Keeps, it keeps buffering guys I hope we've got a good service when we get to the campsite during the week more traffic lights oh for Christ's sake more traffic lights but this is going to be our view in the morning when we wake up because the campsite is just up the road here So this will be our view when we wake up in the morning. This campsite here is the sister campsite of the one we're going to. And this will be the other side of our view when we wake up. To turn right after half a mile. So we've got the water on one side, we've got the sea on the other side, and we've got the beautiful mountains on the other side. So this is all going to be our view when we wake up in the morning. It is a beautiful view to wake up to, Linda. There's the camp, this is the campsite we're staying at here. So you can see the views we've got when we wake up. Turn right. This is why we came right back here. Because the, right. the views are just absolutely amazing. Take the next right. Whoa! Arrive at destination on the right. You have reached your destination on the right. Madness through the bottom way of this gate. Think, just wait here, just wait here. I don't think there's anyone there. I don't know. Just wait here. Stop! Oh, I'm blocking the fucking road! open the gate just go through in here we go do the paperwork and that when we get in there how far are we from town we can get um we oops. last time we was here we had to get a cab into town 
and they take dogs, so I think, I think it was a tenner, yeah, just park in front of the reception. Yeah, just park here. Wait there, Lord. Don't know. Whoa, I'll stay there. No, stay there. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. No, stay there, darling. One big minute. I'll we'll get you out in a minute. <laughs> Follow him. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a nice campsite this is Shireen, it is a really nice campsite, so they've changed everything around I think from last year, because they had the static caravans here didn't they, do you remember? Yeah. Oh um, we're here. Driving, do you talk? Oh small, where are we going to put it all in? Um, we're going to have to put the all in this side because of the grass. The grass here? Yeah, I know, but you're not going to get it up. That's, uh, that's somebody else's pitch. Oh. Let me speak to him a minute.
seat, I tell ya. Look at that view, guys. Look what I'm waking up to in the morning. It's windy. It's windy. We gotta get this holding up. Right. Let's turn you around. Okay, guys. We're gonna quit fag. And then we're going to get going, because it's going to get dark soon. And uh, he, was, he totally understood about all the traffic and everything, all the road works. Yeah. Hey. Uh, He's obviously been through it. But, a really nice guy. But he didn't sound very well. No, he didn't, no. But he's a really nice guy, and uh, we've got our spot. We're here for seven nights. We can get a cab into town one day. But what we'll do is, well, not tomorrow, but the next day, I'll probably take you for a walk and show you all the rest of the views that you can see. Because there's some. So we can walk all the way down there along the road where the cars are going. We walked down to the church last time. Yeah, and uh, it's a beautiful walk. Oh uh, yeah, this is what we're going to be waking up to in the morning. Weather's not all that at the moment, but hopefully it'll be a bit better tomorrow. Bye, Malcolm. Thank you ever so much for joining us, mate. Really appreciate it. You take care. Big kiss and a big hug to you. Again. Um, you have, have you got to level the van up? Oh, I better get going. I'll just put this bag out. No, I'll have it afterwards. Just want to get that up. And... It's really windy out there as well. Okay, guys. I'm going to say goodbye. You take care. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I love you all. And we'll speak to you. I won't be live tomorrow, but I will be live next day take you for a little walk along the front and all that and show you all the mountains and all the sea and everything thank you carol thank you ever so much big kiss and a big hug to you shireen thank you darling slim thank you big kisses and big hugs to you love you guys kerry brother big kiss and a big hug to you Thank you ever so much for joining us today. <sighs> so yeah, see you later guys, bye. Enjoy your eclipse.